Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Gaming, and today I've got a video that is not a stream. I want to do something that was a little more uh, fun or an actual video kind of thing, so I'm hoping you guys will enjoy this. I think this will be a lot of fun, but I was watching some Ludwig opening Pokemon cards videos, and I was like, you know what? I have a bunch of cards that I have not opened in a long time. I have no idea what their values are nowadays. I got nothing. So today, we're going to find out. We're going to find out how much my cards are worth as of right now. Uh, I haven't been collecting for super long. Uh, I, well, I, I was collecting when I was back a child, but when I moved in 2008, my mom threw away all my Pokemon cards, so now I don't have all the crazy, crazy old stuff that I used to, which is kind of sad. But, you know, I after that, I started recollecting again, so I'm interested to see what all these cards are going to be worth. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit through um, my journey of uh, Pokemon stuff. I've got my Pikachu shirt on right now. And uh, so let's get into it. So this is, uh, I've got two cameras here. I've got this one here and I've got this one here. This one will show the card specifically. This one will kind of show what I've got. But here I've got uh, my Dakota's card bin. Uh, so this should be fun. Uh, I have not opened this in some time. I very genuinely have not opened this in some time. So uh, here we go. Uh, we're gonna just put this over here, I guess. I'm gonna grab all the cards that I think are valuable and put them to the side. And then at the end, we're gonna go through what I, how much I think everything is. Um, okay, so let's just get jump into it here. Uh, an Entei card at the top. I don't know why it's here and, oh, there's something underneath it. Okay. Um, so we're gonna grab the Primarina. We've got a nice Primarina card here, an Entei, which is a hollow. So I'll grab these to this side of Primarina and an Entei. Uh, let's grab this. I think this is a secret rare execute. So this should be something. Should be worth something here. So let's grab this card and we'll put this one aside for now. We'll just put this back in any old order, because why not? Uh, this Genesect, I don't think is much. I think this is from, a, yeah, it's a promo, so I don't think it's crazy anything. Uh, just, I clearly have organized them by leaf or grass. Uh, this card, this is a shiny Entei. So let's grab this card. I don't have it in a sleeve. It's a promo. I don't have it in a sleeve or anything, so that'll be... Uh, interesting to see if that thing's actually worth anything. Uh, an older Feraligator, an Articuno. I have <laughs> cards that are just out of nowhere, because why not? Um, Manaphy, Keldeo, I don't think... Oh, this is this Shiny Lugia as well. This is a... Uh, oh, what was the set called? Uh, it's SL7. I'm not sure what that means, but um, we're just going to... We're going to grab that one out. I think it's a pretty solid one. Uh, we've got the... This is from the Evolutions, I think, set. The Hitmonchan. Some of the cards that look really older, but they're not actually that much older because they're from that set where everything looked a lot older. Uh, I think I have a nice Terrakion somewhere. It might actually be in my deck. So I actually did some actual deck building and stuff at some time. Okay, this is a... This is a Hollow Mew. I'm going to grab this one... Just because why not? We'll see what the base value of just a, a Mew is nowadays. We'll grab that. Uh, the Mewtwo I don't think is much. I think that's from a set. Uh, from like a, um, a booster or like a... What's it called? I can't remember. This looks like an OG kind of card. Yeah, this looks old. Not, and these will not be PSA 10, by the way. But So a uh, Rocket Snorlax. So let's grab that. Why not? I'm very interested to see what my value worth of all these, at least the, the ones that I think are good are going to be. My guess it's probably going to be like uh, $400. I'm not sure. White Kyrim. Uh These Latioses are from a Dragon Vault set. Uh, That's like just the set. And I don't think they're super valuable. I may be wrong, uh, but I don't think so. So we're not going to bother with those. Uh, don't see anything crazy here. Uh, an Empoleon FB. I forgot when they had, like, the trainers had their own kind of cards. Is this a loose Machamp? These are loose cards. I think is this... Some of the... What's it called? They're really... Like, if I if I tilt the whole thing upside down, I think cards will just fly out. So I think that's why half of them are like that. Um, Mischievous Golet. I got all this interesting stuff. Eevees, Fletchlings, Slacking... Uh, okay, uh, okay, so, oh, here's a Decidueye, a full art Decidueye, so we'll grab that, and I'm just gonna grab these other ones, a legendary Pokemon? 
I think that was, was this a McDonald's card? I can't even remember. I sort of have memories of some of these cards. This is Ultra Prism set type thing. So did I see something? No, I didn't see anything crazy here. Trackan, Lucario, Raikou, it doesn't look so crazy. Okay, I have these unknowns in sleeves. So we're gonna assume that these unknowns are good, but I only have two of the three in sleeves. So interesting. I think these are ones I got from a, um, uh, uh, what was it? A value village. I got them from a value village. And I think this Entei was something too. We're gonna grab the Entei. I think I had a promo one of Entei that's worth more, but I feel like I lost that one from some time ago. I'm not sure where it is. Uh, this is, oh, this is a fossil Omnite. Uh, this is number two, whatever that is. Kadabra. Um, isn't Kadabra the rare card that's actually of the, what's his name? The magician type guy. So I think I'm going to grab Kadabra just cause, um, just cause I, I have a hunch that that one was the one that's not being produced anymore or something like that. What do we got in the back? Oh, we got just energies, rainbow energy. I don't think the energies are ever worth a ton unless they're like super special. Uh, so, okay, this is a Prism Star, right? That was the name of these. I don't think they're, it's in a sleeve. So it's gotta be something. Uh, and some trainers, I think I have a whole set of trainers somewhere else. Oh, a G Booster. I think I had a few G Boosters. There might be some, oh yeah, there's another one here. I collected a ton in the um, uh, Plasma area, the Plasma Frost, Plasma Freeze. Plasma, another one, something like that. I collected a decent amount in that era. That's when I kind of restarted my Pokemon journey. So let's, uh, that's it for one, one thing. So I played a ton of actual TCG and so I made actual decks for quite some time. Uh, and so I updated them every now and then. So uh, this, oh, this is my status deck, my super annoying status deck. Uh, that was just like poison, confusion, everything. Okay, we'll take the Venusaur. We're gonna take all the cards out. I'm, I don't foresee myself using these decks anytime soon in the near future. But, uh, wow, these are sticky, these. That was the one thing about these sleeves, the Elite Trainer sleeves, like these kind of things, is that they weren't, um, they were not very easy to, to play around with. They were not very, uh, yeah. Friendly. I'm gonna grab one Hypnotoxic Laser just because I remember those being really valuable back then. So I'm just gonna grab one just to see, cause why not? That was the status deck. Um, I'll throw that to the side. Uh, what deck is this? Oh, is this the fairy deck? Yep. Yeah. We'll grab the Sylveon for now. The Suicune was pretty powerful card. Uh, nothing too crazy here. I got something coming up. But yeah, ooh, a Full Art Gardevoir EX. Oh yeah, did they do the super, uh, what was it? Like a uh, flowery stuff in one set for a while. Oh, the good old Keldeos. I ran so many Keldeos. I ran a Blastoise Keldeo deck. And so this one has one Keldeo. So uh, those are those two decks. We're gonna leave them the way I had them because why not? Uh, so these are the Keldeo decks. I got, a, I got a decent amount of cards here. So I'm very interested to see how much like just this is gonna cost or gonna be worth valued on Troll and Toad. Um, okay, uh, let's get into the big boys after, I think, my big mega decks. So what is this? This is, oh, <laughs> I think, if I remember correctly, I got some cards <laughs> for my wedding. Um, my, some of my uh, groomsmen gave me some cards for my wedding. And so I think these were in that pack. Um, so Professor Research, Black Curum, Mega Galady X. This is my first rainbow rare, I believe. I don't think I have any other rainbow rares. Um, I have not collected as of recent. So, I, yeah, I really haven't. I just remember getting some of these cards. I should probably flip these back the other way. Uh, I don't think there's, yeah, my guess is those were just the big cards out of these sets. I think I just threw in a bunch of cards together. Electrode, reverse electrode, or hollow electrode. Uh, and is there anything else in here? These are just sleeves. These are like sleeves on sleeves on sleeves. All the different colors. You could tell I really actually went hard with the uh, uh, playing TCG. So, uh, we're gonna, I don't even know what to do with these anymore. Do I have? Uh, these are from the new cards that I think I literally just bought with my cousins that were here uh, for <laughs> uh, the summer. 
And I don't think I got anything at all. I think I got pretty trash, if I remember correctly. Oh! Okay, yeah, no, I remember that. It's Delix V. I don't even understand the meta of all that V stuff nowadays. I'll just throw these down there. So let's, let's check out the Steelix V, I guess. Uh, we'll use these last deck box last. I think those are gonna be actually pretty good. Um, oh gosh. Okay, these are just placeholders. Uh, my guess, so these are, uh, these are just organized random cards. I, I wouldn't say organized, uh, but these are just random cards I think I threw in here. My guess is that if these are all in here and I had some other cards in that folder, that these cards are all kind of nothings. Okay, what is, I did something weird here. Can't really see, but I did like a, what is this? What did I, what do I have here? I don't understand. Let's just grab it from here. What the heck? Why are these in sleeves? They just got a Dragonite from the Pokemon movie? I do not remember any of these cards. Wallerine, there, this is Rayquaza, Entei. Oh, this is the rare Entei. I think this is a, I think this is one of my best cards. If I remember correctly, I think this Entei is one of my best. Um, okay, why is the Raticate in a sleeve? I don't know why the Raticate's in a sleeve, but we're gonna put it in the sleeve. Uh, Dark Celebi, an OG Rhydon. Victory Bell's in a sleeve? Why do I have Victory Bell in a sleeve? Green Dice, what is this other thing here? What the heck is this? Chansey? And just cardboard? I guess we'll grab the Chansey? I have no idea why that's there. I don't know where my OG... I thought I had Bulbasaur, Charmander, and uh, Squirtle all together, but I guess not? Do I have them organized by... No. Oh, wait. oh these are organized by... um. Uh, what's it called? Uh, like, alphabetical order. What's it called? Alphabetical order. So I don't know where that Squirtle Charmander stuff is, but... Okay, uh, now time for what I consider to be the big boys. Uh, we'll see what these are. So these are my two, I believe, my best decks that I've ever created. Uh, or I know they are my best two decks I've ever created. I think Black was the best, and this was the second best. So we are gonna keep these decks for sure, I think, separate. But, um... Uh, this... Oh, the, yeah, this is my Grass... Uh, grass, what's it called? Oh, this card's a good card. This Mew EX, I think, will be quite valuable. Um, grass Psychic. I couldn't think of the word for some reason. Uh, I think I have some good trainers in here, too. Mr. Mime GX. I, every now and then, I would get a random good card, and I'll just throw it into one of these decks wherever it worked. Um, and so I did that all throughout university when I got cards just now and then, and here and there, and um, so we're going to grab those, put them to the side. I, all these, I should know all these because they all have the purple, uh, the purple sleeves. And then let's go for the black sleeves. This was my best deck I think I ever made. It was Maximar. I remember seeing it in some competition, so I made it. The thing was broken. I have tons of trainers in here. Hoopa. Oh yes, the Zora Malamar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was supposed to get as many Malamars as I could, but I didn't have that many Malamars, so I just kind of just used one, and that was just my guy. Same with Zorak, I think. Or, is it, or was it just one Zorak? Um... Oh! Oh! Okay, here's Char here's Charmander, Bulbasaur, and uh, Squirtle. Uh, Bulbasaur is not the one, it's the two. It's the number two one, so that one kind of sucks, but um, I this is my OG kind of guys there. Uh, where are my good trainers? I thought I put them in these decks. I have like good trainers. Oh, I'm I'm totally missing. I just I just memed myself. There's a whole other box of stuff. There's a whole nother box. Put these there. I got a nice stack here. I got five more decks. Remember when I said I like deck building, guys? This is it. So uh, this was a fighting dragon deck that I wanted to utilize because I got this Buzzwool card. And, um, and Cynthia was big at the time. Cynthia was a good card and with a Garchomp base deck. And so I took, this was a base deck, like one that you could just buy. And I tried to make it good, uh, with, um, with the cards that I had available to me. So that was the creation of, of this deck. 
this is my, oh, this is the Ho-Oh deck. So the Ho-Oh deck just has a little bit of everything in it. Uh, oh no, this is not, is it? I think this is the Ho-Oh deck. Same thing, it was like a battle something type thing. Oh, battle compressor was really useful. That's a reverse hollow evolutions. Okay, so I'll use that one because I didn't grab the other Mew. But the Ho-Oh worked off of, um, what was it? Just off of like using tons of different energies. It was like, it's the rainbow burn, what was it? Yeah, rainbow burn. So it was just a deck of just the randomest stuff. My electric deck, uh, which was a good deck at the time. Fun fact, I actually went to university at the same time as um, a guy that was a world champion. Um, Chase was his name. Chase uh, Maloney. I think it was Chase Maloney. So I, I went to university with him. I never, I should have, I should have really played with him. We, we, I should have actually been intentional and tried to get some games with him, but uh, I never did. But this deck was based off of his winning deck, his, uh, his world championship winning deck, the electric. So, Ooh. let's uh, oh, let's keep that there. Grab these guys out. So I mean, I got some good cards to go through. So this is gonna be fun to to see the entire total here. Um, two more decks, uh, fire and I don't know that last one was that it was that might be the Blastoise Keldeo deck. This was a fun deck too. The um, uh, the the fire the discard fire one. I learned very late on into Pokemon that discarding fire cards was like the, the thing to do. Like that was just the base strategy for fire decks. And so I used, I made a deck around it. And this was the uh, old Blastoise Keldeo deck. The one that I used so much. That was super strong. Uh, Keldeo, I feel like, oh yeah, okay, I was going to say, I remember having a full art trainer and that was it. Uh, I don't think the Keldeo is actually that good. Greninja, I don't think Kyurem's that great either. I could be wrong, Articuno, Kiram, and the Scoop Up Cyclone. I forgot about the Scoop Up Cyclone. That was just free Keldeo returns for days. So that is it. That is all of the cards at least. So we've got a giant stack of cards right here. Oh gosh, okay. So we just have a freak ton of cards. Like look at this stack. The cards that I believe to be valuable at this point. So. Uh, we <laughs> make a prediction right now how much you think all of these cards are worth. All of these cards are worth. How much do you think? I'm going to throw a prediction uh, at the end because I don't actually know. Actually, I'm going to say, I'm going to say $800. I think they're worth $800 altogether. That might be a little high, but I think there's a decent amount of them that it'll slowly just stack up over time. So I think $800. And uh, this is gonna be fun because I can't, I'm not actually gonna look up them as I go. I'm literally just going to show the video, show it to the camera, and then I'm just gonna just go. I'm just gonna, well, I'll do it in post. I'll see them in post and see what my grand total is in post. So um, 800 is my guess, 800 is my guess. If I had to be exact, 827.16. That's my total randomest guess, 827.16 is my random guess. So uh, yeah, let's get into it now. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. Uh, I have ordered my decks in the in the typing that I think will be the most valuable. So I think like steel, because there's only one of these cards is the least valuable and then fairy and then all the way to the back type of cards that I think will be the most valuable by typing. Uh, trainers are all just one type of card. And so uh, I have no energies in here. I don't think I have any energies that are actually worth anything a ton. I'm not actually sure, but uh, so we're gonna go through and see how much my, uh, my number that I said, what was it? Uh, 827, 16, something like that. Uh, we're just gonna go through and see how much. Uh, I'm not actually gonna count by type, but I just think it'll be more exciting to go through like this. So that is um, that is the current plan of attack, and we'll see how well that actually <laughs> how well that actually is. So starting off with our steel, uh, the way it's gonna work, I'm just gonna show the card right here, Steelix, and uh, the numbers is gonna appear right there with a total next to it to see how much it totally is, and I and I don't actually know until I can end it all. Guard of War. EX right there, full art. A Sylveon GX is there as well. A Buzzwool GX right there. Move the mic a little bit more so you can maybe hear myself a little bit better. A Terrakion, full art, not an EX or anything. I remember that being kind of weird that that wasn't anything, it was just that. Uh, I have a white Kyurem EX and I have a black Kyurem EX. And then I have a Dialga EX full art. I've got a Tapu Coco GX right there. 
I've got a, oh, what were these called? Oh, break. Lu Luxray break. I don't think this is actually going to be worth that much, is my guess. That one's going to be kind of pitiful. Uh, Full Art Thunderous EX. Magnazone EX. And that concludes our electric types. We're going to move into dark. We've got a Full Art Malamar EX. A Darkrai EX. A Zorark EX. Full Art. Uh, and that's it for the normal. Uh, these ones are going to be really interesting. I have not a hot clue. Uh, Rocket Snorlax. Um, not a hot clue what that's going to be. Uh, Dragon Knight from the Kids Warner Bros. Presents Pokemon the First Movie. It's a promo card. Uh, that one I feel like could be pretty valuable from that first movie. Uh, I just have a Rayquaza that's here that doesn't seem too valuable. It was at the other card, so that were like that, so... That's that. Uh, I have Eradicate that's in a sleeve. I don't understand why it's in a sleeve, but I must have put it there for some reason. And a Chansey that was guarded by cardboard. So I have no idea what those are going to be. That's it for the normal types. Um, back next, a Shiny Lugia. So, uh, Bowtie from the future here. I did not expect this card to be that valuable. And this is like a 9 PSA, almost like a near mint price. So, uh, it fluctuates, it fluctuates quite a bit, but, uh, I did not expect any cards to be this valuable. And, uh, spoiler alert, there's one more, even more. Uh, that one will be interesting. I have no idea what that one's going to be like. Uh, Primarina GX, I believe. GX or EX? GX. Uh, a Wallerin, which is also, uh, um, it's like got a, like the energy, you can kind of see the, the water sign below in the attacks. Uh, that's sleeved. I'm not sure why it's sleeved. Uh, an OG Squirtle. An OG Squirtle. I believe it's OG, because it doesn't have a thing anywhere. Uh, Ash's Greninja EX. I feel like one of the most valuable cards here is going to be one that's not sleeved, so we'll see. Uh, Articuno GX. A Kiram EX. A Keldeo EX. Actually, I just have... Oh, that one's a little different from these ones, but two other Keldeo EXs that are slightly different. Art. That's it for uh, Water. Uh, grass, we've got a Secret Rare Execute. It's kind of an odd Pokemon to be a Secret Rare, but that's my only Secret Rare, I believe. Uh, Decidueye GX Full Art that I think was promo. Actually, I think I bought that card straight up uh, from one of the stores. Uh, Venusaur EX Full Art type of thing. Uh, a Dark Celebi. Uh, those were fun cards when they did that. Dark Celebi. Uh, a Victory Bell that I have sleeved, again, for no apparent reason, but it's sleeved. A Bulbasaur, because why not? A Genesect GX. I actually have two Genesect GXs, so two Genesects right there. Uh, a Leafeon GX. And then I've got, uh, yeah, I definitely have multiple Virizions. Two Virizion EXs. So I'm just pausing here to recognize that we are at card 40 and 41 of 77 total cards I thought had value, and we're already surpassed, we've already surpassed my guesstimate for the total price. So uh, this makes me quite happy. Uh, I have a shiny Entei. So I, that one looks special in some capacity. Uh, a regular kind of hollow Entei. I don't know why I picked that one, but I did. Uh, this one, okay, here's a very interesting thing about these two cards. I remember these two cards being actually vastly different. So here's two Entei's. So this absolutely blew me away. These two Entei cards at 475, the first edition, and the 134, uh, they make up 30% of the total value of all these 77 cards. That is crazy. An even crazier story is that I got these cards from a value village. I think I bought a whole bunch of random cards in that were just loose and kind of in a weird plastic bag for I think probably around 10 bucks. So uh, my uh, return on investment there is quite good. So this value is for like a near mint or like PSA 9. And so they are probably not that high, but uh, they are in pretty good condition. So uh, if I ever sell them, who knows what they might actually go for. But one of them's promo. You can see this one, I think, right here says promo right there. That one is, I believe, significantly more valuable than the other one was. I think it's significantly more valuable. Um, so th those two are there. Uh, two, two base set chart. Wait, these actually look different. They both look the same, but they look different. I'm not sure what... You can see, like, you can look at the difference in just the... Um, the, the saturation of the color, like this one looks a lot more like darker red and this one feels a lot more washed out. So I'm not sure they look like the same to me though, in every other way. 
Ho-Oh EXs, two of them. A Reshiram EX. A Flareon EX. A Volcanion EX. A Lance, oh, now we're into trainers. So two more left, two more sets. I think Trainer is my second most valuable, and then I think the Psychics are actually the most valuable after this. So we got a Prism Star Lance, I believe is what it is. Uh, this one's, I just want to see what the Hypnotoxic Laser is now. I remember that one being like a, a pretty solid like $8, $10 one, just because it was really popular in the meta at the time, so everyone was looking for one. Three G Boosters, very similar. I think, I don't know if they'll actually be that valuable now. A, my only Rainbow Rare, Professor's Research. <laughs> so that one's there. Uh, Skyla, my, uh, a full art trainer, um, a good old dowsing machine, the, from the, when were these, what were these called again? Ace, Ace Specs? Yeah, Ace Specs. A Master Ball, a Scoop Up Cyclone, a Lilia, full art, and now we're into our final thing. I think, if my guess is correct, that these are the most valuable of all the cards. I may be totally wrong. I think the trainers might actually be, now I look at them. A Mew, just a good old hollow Mew card. A Cadaver, which I think has some value because it's the second set. It's the number two, whatever that one is. I think it has some value because they stopped producing it because of the lawsuit or something like that. Uh, an Unknown J, which is sleeved. Uh, an Unknown X, which is sleeved. And then just an Unknown A, which is not sleeved. So who knows the differences of those. Uh, a Mega Gallade EX. A Mewtwo EX. I think I have multiple, do I multiple Deoxys? I do, but they're actually all different. Uh, Deoxys EX. A Full Art Mew EX. I believe this one is valuable from what I can remember. An Espeon GX. A Mr. Mime Full Art GX. GX EX? GX. A Deoxys EX Full Art. A Mewtwo from Evolution. So this one I don't think is actually that rare, but just hollow. And finally, a Mew EX. So that is it. Uh, right now is a grand total. I have no idea what this is. I'm interested to see what it is in the editing booth. Uh, my guess was 8, 27, what, 17, 16. I, I feel like it actually might be too high. I think it's a little too high now I think about it. But um, who knows? You do, because you just you watched the video, you got to this point. So congratulations, you know what I have, but I do not. So goodbye. Yeah, so uh, I grossly underestimated how much I thought the total cost was going to be. I thought the 77 cards, it wasn't going to be that much, but those Entes and Lugia, uh, wow. Um, the fact that this is almost two grand and these are just 77 of the cards I grabbed, I'm sure there were tons of other ones uh, in my folders that were like 10, maybe even 20 bucks here and there that I just didn't think were that valuable. And there were some here that were like two bucks and so... Yeah, this is insane. I'm going to go through at some point and really value all my cards out and put them in a database. But uh, maybe we'll do another video when I do that. But uh, for now, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, how this all ended up.